Morning gang, it's Jay, and we are taking a personal day today to hang out at camp and uh, do finish some of the little projects that I have for working on. So we're gonna finish the walls. I'm going to uh, drop the back of it a little bit and um, fix that up. And then we're gonna move the fire pit and add a porch to it. So a couple hours worth of work, I assume. Um, for in between, I'll take a break. We'll make some coffee, uh, do a little perimeter patrol around the property, and uh, take it from there. So, guys, um, take care and uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll uh, touch base here in a bit. Thanks. Bye. All right, gang. So we're gonna get to work. I'm gonna take the back of the shelter. I don't know how well you can see it here. And I've decided it's just too big for, uh, especially in the wintertime, for maintaining warmth. So I'm just going to take the supports out from the back side, drop the back down, and then do new knee walls on the sides, doing stakes vertically instead of horizontally, and um, cover up the side then. Then I'm going to take the top here, and I'm going to cut, lay another pole across, so just so that the tarp goes over easily. And I'm going to bring this straight out then, so it's, and then it's a flat roof, and then build a support up from the front. Um, kind of like I had on uh, several weeks ago. I really like that setup, so that's what we're going to do. Who knows? We'll see what it is, well, how it works out, but that's kind of a lot of fun, I think. And, um, yeah, and then we'll get the fire pit moved after that and go from there. Hopefully it only takes a couple of hours, but we'll see. So, stay tuned. Alright gang, so, so far, I got the back dropped, 
got the framing for my porch built out and now I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, doing my final lashes there and um, we'll get some cross supports up and then we'll get the tarp ba pulled back over top and uh, see where we go from there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add a couple cross beams, like so, just to give it some stabilization. Um, I got some longer ones here somewhere. Here we go. You know. Ugh. You know, we'll add a stabilizer there. We'll add one over here, like so. Same thing down here. We'll put something here. Actually, it probably goes right like that. Another one here, and um, be pretty good to go. So let me get working on that. I'll give you guys a break from watching the monotony and see what happens. All right, so let's do a quick update here, gang. So I'm a little bit more than an hour in, and uh, so I got my uprights up as far as my porch goes. How well you can see that. I'm going to cut some of that stuff shorter, I think. Dropping the back down here. I think that's going to help with number one shutting snow. We just had a snowstorm here last week that uh, shut down school for two days and um, shut down some businesses. And we had about, I think, eight inches fell here at camp, 12 inches fell at my house. But it was enough for me to worry about it. And um, so I decided, that's one of the main reasons why I decided to drop the back down was to give me that extra extra ability for shedding snow and I'm not sitting at home worrying about it because I tend to worry about those things so so that's it right now gang let's go ahead and throw the tarp up and get that all secured and uh, we'll see where we go from there all right gang so as you can see I have up so far the got to tighten that up a little bit got up my covered porch here Got the rest of the tarp off, or out, or on, I should say. So everything is starting to get secured down. Now I'm going to go ahead and start building the the, um, the side walls here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use I'm going to go vertical, I think, and secure them that way on the sides, all the way up to the trees. So I think if I go vertical. I'll still have a lot of room on the inside. I can probably go out a little bit at an angle if I need to and um, and be good. But I like this so far. So far I'm happier with this than any of the other ways I've tried to uh, set this up. So I think I'm good. So Holy we'll keep cow. working. I'm getting there, as you can see. But oh, so I've been here for three hours now. And that's a lot of work. Whew. One of my buddies was supposed to come with me, but he couldn't get the day off of work. So I was hoping it would be a little bit easier, but man. But everything, anything that's worth it is uh, worth working hard for, right? So I'm going to keep on working, drink a little bit more water. Once I get the sides in, I'm going to move the fire pit in and then go ahead and get a fire going, get some coffee on. It's probably about... 30-ish degrees. Um, it's not supposed to get much much higher than that today. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll get that going next and uh, sit and relax then. So, you guys keep hanging out. I'm going to keep working. All right, so it's time to drag a log or two in. Start building a uh, raised platform there we're sleeping on. I got a couple cut already.
I'm going to use the braided cord from Bush Class Basic to drag them. There's one. Woo. Uh, here's two. Uh. This one might be a little bit shorter than the other one, but that's okay. Alright, it's good. Another one. I gotta cut a couple more, so I'll be back. All right, gang, quick update here. So, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see in here. All right, so, I got my walls up. They're not the best, but I might hang a canvas over top of them um, to block out the wind. And I have a raised bed put in there. It's big enough for one really roomy um, spot. Uh, if you could, you could squeeze two, like a father and son on there, you could do that. Or, um, you know, put somebody on the ground in front of it. But um, that was a lot of work. Um, I just laid my plosh plotka on top of there for sitting on it for right now. Um, but next, we are moving the fire pit in. So... Um, keep hanging out. It's a, it's been a long day already, going on four hours now, but it's, uh, I think it's all worth it, so stay tuned. Alright, so now I'm just spending the time to get my prep work done for the fire. So, I think we're good. Let me bring you guys on over and uh, show you what I got going on. Right. So, I think I'm good, right? Um, got my fire prep done. Got my fire pit in place. Have a new reflector for reflecting all the heat right on into the... Uh, Right on into the shelter there. I don't know if you guys can see, I try to move this around as much as I can, reflect everything on in. 
But um, but yeah, so let's get a fire going. I'm uh, I'm eager to get some coffee going and warm up a little bit. So let's get. I'm not going to mess around a whole lot. Just going to do a good old twig fire with some oiled cotton balls. Ditty bag I made from one of the bush class lessons. This sew your own, hand sew your own stuff sack. So we will get here. Got some oiled, some petroleum jelly cotton balls and a good old lighter. So let's have at it. we go. All right. Get our twig bundle on there. Come over and get my water because I am thirsty. I wish I could have some of the guys out with me right now to uh, get to enjoy it all, but it is what it is, right? And we'll get that going. We're going to put a couple pieces of this dried punk wood on there as well. We'll let the wind take that and um, get us a fire going. So I'll, uh, I'll touch base here in a little bit. I'm going to build one more wall and I'm going to get the coffee pot going. Well, gang, there we go. We're done. This is the inaugural use for the um, Santa's Secret Gift or Santa's um, Secret Gift uh, Helper from um, Bushcraft USA using the, um, the swivel pot hooks that... That young back, the, ugh, young blacksmith had made for me. You can see here. We were worried about the um, height of being too uh, too short. I think we're just fine. So, I'll give you a quick little tour here, gang. I feel like I'm finished for what I wanted to get done here today. So, coming into camp, you can see I built a reflector um, right there. Moved the fire pit. As we come across, you see I built another knee wall here just to create some sort of a, a enclosure, if anything else, prevent people from walking into the fire pits. Um, side Vertical side walls, eh, I don't know if I'm sold on it yet or not, but um, it's going to work for now. It is definitely warmer inside than outside. Come across the back side, I have the back of the tarp staked down. You can see one, two, three. Come around to the side here. You can see we've got our vertical walls on this side. And then we come across 
Let me see if I can pan out a little bit. So I have the uh, a porch that comes out here. You can see for a little bit of an extra covering. But the other thing that I did that I thought was kind of cool um, is this part can be rolled up. So all you got to do is just, it's tied to this pole right here going all the way across. And all you have to do is untie a couple portions of it that are uh, attaching it to the support pole. And you can actually physically just roll that all the way up to the back here and then secure it. So kind of cool. I saw in that idea on Pinterest and I'm like, oh man, that is a, uh, that's really cool. I did put up a little center support here just with the have any heavy snow loads just to give me a little bit of extra protection. I'll always keep dry firewood stacked inside and um, got a spot for hanging my gear. Um, keeps it under cover. I could always move it further inside if I needed to. Little cinder block that's on the property that's for, you know, acting as a little table. Although I can certainly build a little table out if I wanted to. And we're back to our fire pit. So all in all, gang, that was a lot of work. It's one o'clock and um, I'm whooped. Um, I've been drinking water. I've gone through about a liter and a half of water. And uh, I'm brewing up some coffee now, but um, totally digging it. I'm happy I took the day off and came out here and finished what I had started. So, yeah, gang, that's it. We have camp established. So thanks for joining me on the journey. It may have been a little bit boring, but, you know, bushcraft is... Uh, it's all about the skills that you use and what you learn and using this, using your um, natural surroundings. And it doesn't happen really fast. I know in today's world, we're all, um, it's that instant gratification that I want it now, I want it now. But um, sometimes it's good to have to really work really hard for it. Um, even if it's just for some self-satisfaction. So that's it, gang. Thanks for following along with me. You guys stay safe. New Year's and Christmas are right around the corner. Give many thanks to uh, to what you may have, um, even maybe for what you don't have. I don't know, um, depending upon your current situation. But um, thanks, guys, for watching. Stay safe. Keep training and uh, keep learning. And, uh, yeah, love your family. So that's it. Thanks, guys.